Here we are on Windows XP getting ready to do the Grid Insight AMR USB 1 Utility Meter Data Receiver Driver Installation. First thing we will do is download the drivers from the Grid Insight website. And here on the Grid Insight website you can see at the top menu there's a downloads link. And here we have several items and the thing we need here is the Grid Insight driver beta zip. Let's uh, save that to our desktop. Okay. And go ahead and close the web browser. Okay, that didn't appear on our desktop. I bet it's under My Documents. Downloads. There it is right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run setup. Yes. Click next. Accept the license agreement. So here we receive a warning because this driver is still in beta test and has not yet been certified. So we're going to continue anyway. Okay, and that's it for the driver installation. We can close that. So now let's move on to installation of the device. So as I insert the receiver into the USB port, let's see what Windows XP does. Okay, so we heard it recognize some new hardware. And it recognized that it was a utility meter data receiver. And we're not going to search Windows Update. We're going to install the software automatically as it recommends. It, Windows did recognize that this is a utility meter receiver. And here we have another warning that this driver has not been Windows logo certified. We're going to continue anyway. And it appears that we've finished the installation. That's it. The device is now installed. The operating system recognizes it and it is ready to use. Let's verify that the AMR USB 1 has appeared on the system as a COM port, a serial port. We'll go to the Start menu, Control Panel. Here we'll select System, and in the System Properties dialog box We'll go to the Hardware tab and launch the Device Manager. In the Device Manager, we have an item here for ports. We will expand that. We can see here we have the built-in COM port that's on the, on the motherboard of the computer, a printer port, and a utility meter receiver listed as COM6. So it has appeared here in the Device Manager We've confirmed that the operating system recognizes the receiver. Let's try connecting to the AMR USB 1 using a simple serial terminal in Windows XP. First thing we'll need is that simple serial terminal program. There's one bundled with the driver. So let's go back to the driver package and extract it so that we can use that program. Driver was under My Documents, Downloads, Grid Insight Driver. Serial term here is the serial terminal program. Let's copy this file and we'll just copy it to the root of our C drive. 
Okay, that's done. Let's close this window out. Now let's launch a command prompt. We can do that by going to All Programs, <laughs> Accessories, Command Prompt. Okay, now we're in the command prompt. Let's go to the root directory of C and launch serial term specifying one parameter, COM6. Okay, and it seems to have connected to something. Let's give it a minute to see if it picks up any traffic. Oh, there we go. It seems to be picking up meter traffic from at least two meters. And uh, the data seems to be flowing. So we could sit here for a while and watch the data continue to get picked up off of the airwaves, but, uh, but there it is. Oh, there's more. Okay. Can we pause for a minute? As you can see, the data is continuing to flow. Uh, for more information, see the other videos on the website uh, where we go through detailed diagnostics that can be run here at a terminal. Uh, but just to demonstrate the basic idea of interacting with the device, let me try um, one command. We'll just type VRSN and hit enter. Let's try clicking in that window first. There we are. So you can see that the AMR USB 1 outputs command results in line with received meter data. Now let's try the AMR USB 1 with a different serial terminal, one that I recommend. This is called TerraTerm. It's an open source project out of SourceForge Japan. TerraTerm is a full network based VT emulator, but for our purposes we're going to connect to a COM port. So we will select, select Serial at the TerraTerm new connection dialog, and we will select COM6, our utility meter receiver, as the port we want to connect to. We hit OK. and it seems that we are connected. And as we tested in our serial term simple terminal, we can run similar commands. VRSN, enter, outputs our version. My ID outputs the serial number of the receiver. And other commands can be executed here as well. Um, unlike the Qt.com program, terminal program we used in Linux, these serial programs on Windows don't show the, uh, our own typing as we're inputting data into the receiver. That's fine. Uh, just pay attention to what you're typing. And again, this is for diagnostic purposes only, for uh, actually utilizing the data. Certainly you'd use software that you download from the Grid Insight website, uh, desktop gadgets, uh, etc. Uh, integrate with Google Power Meter, um, and we provide software to do that. Uh, or write your own custom software that takes advantage of this serial data stream coming in on COM6. That's a relatively straightforward thing to do, and you're welcome to use the application source code on our website as a starting point.